Okay, another aspect of getting off the X is moving to your left or your right at say a 45 degree angle towards your threat, which may seem counterintuitive. But as we were talking about earlier, if that's the X, the point that he's aiming at is me, and I'm moving, if I make it a difficult target for one step, that may give me the time that I need to draw my draw, unholster my firearm and engage. There may be a time, depending on distance, where I, I would want to run while engaging. To do that, he's going to have to sweep to keep on me, and at a certain point, he's going to have to shift his body position in order to, to get the same results. And the same thing to the right side, he's going to have to sweep and either go one-handed or shift his body position going to his, his right. Right or left, you know, typically you're not, you're not going to know which direction you're heading, but uh, it's good to practice both and keep this in mind at a 45 degree angle or, or somewhere about a 45 degree angle. So I do this drill at home a lot in front of my target. I'll set up a target, set up two cones at about a 45 degree angle and I'll have a buzzer or someone say go or gun, up, whatever your command is that that guy is a serious threat to you. That's the point that you decide to engage. That's the point that you start moving your feet and sending, sending rounds down range. Or in this case, lasers. So this is how we're going to do it. Up. Would reset that, come back to my original X, and I'm going to do it to the other side. And that's basically it. You can repeat as necessary, do it as many times as you like. Don't sacrifice your hits, get good hits. Um, it's going to be more difficult because you're moving and you're moving at different speeds. And really push yourself, vary it up. Sometimes drive as hard as you can to that other one. Other times try and be as efficient as you can on the gun and find that, find that happy medium for you. I know that I can move too fast to accurately, or I'm sorry. I know that I can move too fast to efficiently get my gun out of my holster and send rounds down range. So let's, let me try and do that. Let me try and push myself to the point where it's difficult for me to get my holster out or my gun out and see what happens. In actuality, I wasn't pushing myself hard enough in the first one. Because as you see, I was faster and I was just as efficient. All right, so as we've said before, you want to look for dots not dashes on target. In this drill, or the drills we do when we're shooting on the move, the dashes are going to become something that's, that's much more common. Just because your muzzle's moving, you're moving, your platform's not as stable as we talked about before with grip and stance. When your knees are bent and you're moving, obviously your hands are, are bouncing a little bit more too. So you're going to get some dashes. Keep in mind, if your dash is this big when you start out, Try and get your dash this big and then this big, but don't sacrifice your movement speed and make sure that you're going to get hits at whatever speed that you're moving. 